What is cost behavior, variable, and fixed costs? Before we introduce variable and fixed costs, we have to understand the term cost behavior. Cost behavior is a term used to describe how a cost changes when the level of activity changes. An understanding of cost behavior is necessary for planning, which is one of management's key functions. What does level of activity mean? It refers to volume, and the term volume could mean a number of different things. For instance, the level of activity might refer to the number of units produced, but it could also mean the number of hours factory workers work or the number of hours machines are running to produce a product. The level of activity is also called a cost driver because it is the activity that causes the costs to change, so they drive costs. Now that we understand cost behavior, which is how costs change when the level of activity changes, let's get back to what is a variable cost. A variable cost is a cost that changes when the level of activity changes. If the level of activity goes up, total variable costs will go up. If the level of activity goes down, total variable costs will go down. Let's use an example to demonstrate variable costs. Josephine Inc. produces a product that uses gold. For each product, the company needs one gram of gold. The cost of gold is $75 per gram. Is gold a variable cost in the production of the company's product? Well, if Josephine produces zero products, gold will cost them nothing. If Josephine produces one product, they'll use one gram of gold, and that will cost them $75. And if Josephine produces two products, they use two grams of gold, and it'll cost them $150. Now, if Josephine Inc. produces 50 or 100 products, the company will use 50 or 100 grams of gold, and it will cost a total of $3,750 for 50 and $7,500 for 100 grams, which is, of course, 100 grams of gold multiplied by $75 per gram. You can see that as the level of activity goes up, the total variable costs increase too. We are looking at cost behavior. You can see how the cost of gold behaves as the level of activity, which in this case is the number of products, changes. It's clear that the cost of gold is a variable cost because it changes with the level of activity. We can also use a graph to show cost behavior. On this graph, we've made the y-axis the total cost, and the x-axis is the level of activity, which in this case is the number of units the company produces. How does the cost of gold behave as the number of units produced increases? If we produce zero units, it costs us nothing because zero times 75 is equal to zero. If we produce only one unit, our total variable cost will be 75. And if we produce two, total variable cost 150. We saw this on the chart. If we produce 100 units, our total variable cost will be $7,500 which is 100 multiplied by 75. You can see that as we produce more units, our total variable cost increases. If we join all the dots together, you can see that as the level of activity increases, so does the total cost. It's a one-to-one -one relationship, a straight line going up. And notice that we now have a formula for total variable costs. Total variable costs equals the per unit variable cost multiplied by the level of activity. This is a critical formula in management accounting, one that we will use repeatedly. So to recap, as the level of activity increases, total variable costs increase. As the level of activity decreases, total variable costs decrease. And we now have a formula which we can apply in the future. Now that we understand variable costs, what then is a fixed cost? A fixed cost is a cost that does not change with the level of activity. Total fixed costs stay the same when the level of activity goes up or when it goes down. Let's go back to the example of Josephine Inc. to see how this plays out. Josephine Inc. pays $9,000 per month to rent the factory space they use to produce their product. If the company produces zero units, what will the total fixed cost be? 
a total of $9,000. What if the company produces one unit? Still $9,000 of total fixed costs. What if the company produces 50 or 100 units? Still $9,000 in total fixed costs. Fixed costs do not change with the level of activity. Let's graph this to see visually how fixed costs behave with changing levels of activity. Again, our y-axis is the total cost and the x-axis is the level of activity, which in this case we know is the number of units the company produces. You can see the dots on the graph relate to 0, 1, 2, 50, and 100 units, and we can see that no matter how many units we produce, the total cost of rent is still $9,000. If we create a line graph, we can see the graph is a straight line with the total cost intercept at $9,000. And we also have a formula for total fixed costs. Total fixed costs equal fixed costs. Why? Because fixed costs don't change with the level of activity. Now, does this mean that fixed costs will always stay at $9,000 for Josephine Inc.? Let's go back to our example to see. If Josephine Inc. wants to expand production above 100 units, they will have to rent the space next door. That additional space will cost an additional $9,000, since it's the same size. With that additional space, the company can produce from 101 units to 200 units more. What will happen to our graph now? Let's check it out. You can see that our graph, up to 100 units, stays the same with the intercept at $9,000. However, from 101 units to 200 units, our total fixed costs increases to $18,000. So we have two ranges of costs, one from 0 to 100 units and one from 101 units to 200 units. This is the concept of a relevant range. A relevant range is a range of activity where the cost behavior is a straight line. From 0 to 100 units, the cost behavior is a perfectly straight line at $9,000, so that is a relevant range. We also have a second relevant range from 101 to 200 units. That's because within this range, the total fixed costs are also a straight line, just a straight line at $18,000. So the relevant range is the level of activity in which the total amount of the company's fixed costs does not change. Now. Let's recap everything we've learned. Cost behavior is a term used to describe how a cost changes when the level of activity changes. And the level of activity can mean many different things. A variable cost is a cost that changes when the level of activity changes. If the level of activity goes up, total variable costs will go up. If the level of activity goes down, total variable costs will go down. A fixed cost is a cost that does not change with the level of activity. Total fixed costs stay the same if the level of activity go up or down. Well, at least in the relevant range. And the relevant range means the range of activity when the total fixed costs do not change. That's cost behavior. Thanks so much for watching.